We put beans in almost everything, like some people put chicken in a lot of different things, except beans have a variety of flavors, whereas chicken only tastes like chicken and then makes everything else taste kind of like chicken too, right? Well, one little thing that can really help you if you are trying to make this shift over to eating a little bit more plant-based um, is to make your own beans taste better than a can, is a little bit more economical. Um, it's just a really good practice to have. I like to make a big, huge stock, stick it in my, in my freezer in little containers, and um, just cook a bunch all at once and then pull them out as I need them. They, they defrost pretty quickly and it's really quite easy. You'll see. All right, dried chickpeas. These things absorb water like crazy. So all you gotta do is stick them in a bowl and bam, they absorb a bunch of water. I mean, look at the size differentiation. Different, di oh boy, differentiation <laughs> here. Um, yeah, it's, it's like, what is that? I don't even know how you would say it. Almost doubled in size there. It's quite a bit. And this is even without having cooked it. So I've soaked these overnight. I've drained off the scum. Um, the scum is kind of like this. I've also got some black beans going, of course, here. And um, it's basically all the stink that you might have in your body. It's going to pour off and it's going to smell a little bad, but not as bad as when it comes out of your body. So this is a great thing to do. 24 hours is optimal. Sometimes I go about 2018-ish and I still find a lot better results and, and it's, it's good. So here we are. We're going to pour off the leftover water here that I've been rinsing with and then get it into our pot. All right, so I've got my beans just in my pressure cooker here. Um, oftentimes I'll, I'll use this. Um, before I got a pressure cooker, I just put them on the stove and with a bunch of water and let it just kind of simmer for a couple hours with a lid on. That works perfectly fine and I think it's a really good option. Um, I do it in here because it you know, takes, <laughs> it doesn't take very long to heat up, but it certainly does take a long time to cool down, but I never have to worry about it burning. As you can see, I've just added a little bit of water in here. You don't need to add too much because I've already pre-soaked them so much. All right, we'll add in a bit of salt about now. You can add in about a tablespoon. Um, right about now, it'll absorb into the beans a lot better while it's cooking rather than later. Um, do consider that a lot of flavors really um, absorb well into chickpeas as well, and so these are really great as like a base for lots of different recipes. Make sure to turn off your keep warm button. It'll extend the amount of time you have to decompress your pot. All right, once you hear a beep for the pressure cooker, it's gonna let you know it's done. And you're just gonna go over and look over at the pressure release valve and see if it's up or down. It's gonna be up for a long time. Um, the black one will be the one that you would release if you're doing other types of foods, but I'm not doing that this time. I just need to have a natural release. You'll need to plan for about an hour and a half to two hours to make these beans, but do consider it takes several more hours to do with them on the pot. So I feel this is still the better deal. All right, once my beans have come down in pressure and I can see that the silver dot has come down on the lid, as you can see here, um, I'm going to get a look at these and see that I've got some scum, kind of has a weird texture to it, but no weirder than any ch weird chicken parts, right? So I can deal with this a lot better. We're just gonna drain that off and we'll get back to our next step. Once my beans are done cooking, I like to drain off the liquid and I put them into individual containers. Um, individual containers are reusable and you can see that they're, you're not going to just throw them away like you would a plastic bag. And so I like to do these instead and just bought a couple extra ones to put into my freezer. All right, make sure to cool so you avoid the vacuum suck and um, that it doesn't stick on there and make things difficult for you in your freezer later and when you're trying to defrost. If you drain off all the water, you're going to find that it'll be a lot quicker to defrost as well. Pour some water over the top and they'll be done defrosting in about like five minutes or so. All right, that's about it. Beans!